everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the end of the month readings for April 2020 and I wanted to um, go along the lines of spiritual messages because with everything that's going on at the moment in the world um, I just thought it would be nice to get some messages from the other side so to speak and I have bought my crystal ball in uh, for this reading because I've had this for over 20 years um, and it is a traditional crystal ball and I absolutely love working with it if I do one-to-ones with clients because all I can say, um, when you use a crystal ball it's called, you have to scry the actual um, wording for it and all I can say is to describe it to you, when you scry into this, right, into a crystal ball or you can do it in water, if you've never tried scrying um, and you are into tarot card reading and everything else, then it is worth a try because um, I got into it, like I say, about 20 years ago and it took a while for me to learn the technique but when I actually got the technique, um, it was amazing. It's just, to me, it was like looking at a cine film. Black and white pictures um, were coming through uh, on the actual, you know, through the actual glass. So that's the, um, what I'm going to be doing today is using the crystal ball. And the cards I will be using um, for the messages are the spirit messages from John Holland. So I bought these into play today. I'm also using the um, Whispers of Healing Oracle cards, and that's by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. And I'm also using the Energy Oracle cards. These are quite a new deck to me, and these are by Sandra and Taylor. So that's just a little intro, so you know what I will be doing today, my lovelies. Okay, my lovelies, I'm going to be starting to read now for the lovely um, Aquarius. So Aquarius, I'm just going to move your card over there for a second. And we'll start shuffling the cards just to have a look at what the energy and um, is around you and the spiritual messages that may come through uh, for my lovely Aquarians. So let's just start shuffling the cards and we'll have a look. Of what and I feel like I want to take that one for you Aquarius the message on here is saying positive minded people okay so the energy around you spiritually is saying to keep a positive mind at the moment some of you um, you know could be uh, going through the old photograph albums at the moment okay and it's it's i want to say as well that spirit are trying to tell you to connect with your inner child at the moment okay um because of the message of being positive minded people then some of you could have been in a negative energy at the moment around you aquarius there could be things that um, are happening around you at the moment uh, where there's some concerns and I want to say family concerns at the minute um, for some of you okay you may have some worries and some uh, issues around a close family member and this is why uh, there's a nostalgia nostalgia sorry is creeping in around you um, because you are concerned about a close family relative it could be to do with their health it's putting you in this mindset of, of remembering the good times that you had um, as a you know as a child growing up around this family member okay so the message from spirit though is saying to you please please don't dwell um, on the issue that is in hand yet yeah, there is concerns and you are worried okay and it is pulling you back in this nostalgic type of energy but it's saying here have a positive um, mindset Aquarius let's just get the other energy card um, that filters in with this but I do feel, as I say, um, this, whoever I'm connecting with here, then uh, I feel that there's at least some concerns on a health issue around a, a loved one at the moment, which is putting you in this nostalgic, you know, um, the, the, the thought process. Uh, okay, so let's just have a look at the other energy card. And we have the sun. Okay, so that's a lovely positive message here from Spirit to say there is there has been emotional turmoil because we've got the water element here in this card. Okay, 
there's been a lot going on around you at the moment Aquarius but it's saying here that um, as we go at the end of April to the start of May things are going to start to um, calm down and uh, the sun element is going to start coming back into your life because whoever I'm picking up with here on the Aquarius level as I say I just feel um, there's been some issues and I just want to say I do feel that it's to do with health okay I see the green in these cards as well and green is a symbol of health and healing okay so I do feel there's a lot of healing from spirit um, around you at the moment Aquarius so I'm going to pull out the um, John Holland cards here with the spiritual messages on them okay before I actually then uh, connect with the crystal ball so let's have a look what else we've got coming out here but this is a positive message for you for those who are worrying and concerned about this uh, close loved one of yours at the moment just know that spirit are sending the healing around that person and just to say that um, you are going to be raised out of that situation and the sun will be you know um, coming back into your life because I do feel that some of you have you know have been in a a dark place okay over these issues what I've been going on so let's just have a look I mean if it's not a family member then this could actually be your own health Aquarius you know there's been issues um, where you haven't been able to go out because of your own health issues and it's saying uh, whilst you've been sort of you know confined as such in your own house because of your health then you, you have you have got in this nostalgic thought pattern you know remembering good times remembering your, your childhood as well as I said I think some of you have just been getting out um, old uh, family albums and, and stuff like that but it's saying my lovelies if it is your own health I'm connecting with here just to be mindful that spirit is saying the sun is going to shine for you at, you know going into the start of May things you know you're going to start to get your energy levels back and um, you know things are going to be on a more positive note for you Aquarius so the message that we've got here is a child's love and it's weird how we've got the you know the child um, symbolizing here in the first card to have this out from spirit so it's saying the love between a parent and child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth children start out as part of us and from their first cries they establish themselves as the biggest part of our hearts so I feel here you know what I mean they, they amaze me these cards do because like I say it's just um, symbolizing here I'm picking up with some Aquarians who as I said are very very close at this moment in time who could be sort of aiding um, and helping someone who's not very well at the moment okay on a close family link and it's bringing you in this love okay and it's spirit saying to you stay positive um just stay positive here because we've got the rainbows showing here and the butterfly transformation and the happier uh, it's like the, the notes here uh, of happier times to come ahead so it's a strong message here whoever i'm picking up today with the aquarians to say you know um stay positively minded you know if it's to do with yourself personally then um, you are going to be resurfacing out of this and your energy levels are going to raise and the healing is being sent to you and then with the spiritual card here of the child's love this could be as I said on the opposite side of the coin where you are the child looking after the parent okay or whoever the close family member is um, but I'm just feeling that connection there so what I'm going to do now is just take a moment so I can connect because I want to try and get some spiritual messages it's not going to resonate with everybody obviously but um, I just want to see if I can connect uh, through the crystal ball here um, and just see if I can get some messages for any Aquarians so I will go quiet for a moment Okay, I'm getting the name of Rosemary coming through to me. So I'm just going to connect with her and just see what she wants to tell me and who she wants to give this message to. Rosemary is in spirit, okay, and she's been passed over 
she's giving me the symbol of two, so two years, okay? She's been in spirit in two years. Okay, Rosemary, who do you want to get a message to, please? I feel she wants to give me where she's coming from, and this is um, from America, Virginia. So she was born, she was either born in Virginia, but she's just giving me the name, uh, place, and I feel that's more of a place than a name. I could, you know, it could be like both, but I just feel Virginia is where the area of where she was brought up with her childhood. Okay, let me just have a look what else we've got here. She's giving me the name Raymond as well, okay, and I feel Raymond is also in the spirit, so I have got um, a Rosemary and a Raymond here coming through, so whether these are connected together, but I'm just going with what is coming through, let's just get a bit more on this. I want to take the name Rose, okay, but Rose being here on the earth plane and she's saying that Rose is not well herself at the moment and that is why the healing is coming around from uh, Rosemary, okay, and the Raymond who I'm connecting with here. I'm not sure whether Raymond is actually the partner of Rose, okay, who has gone to spirit. Okay, and I do feel that whoever the rose is on the earth plane here, they have had uh, there's issues with their hip area. Okay, so it could be possibly that they are waiting on a hip operation, and they are saying, you know, the healing and be, you know that the healing will be sent to um, Rose once she starts this process, if not already going through it. Okay, I've also got a dog here that they want to show me, um, connecting for somebody. I've got a poodle. Okay, a lovely white, um, and it's the larger type poodle, okay, that I want to pass through. Let me see who this, I do get animals come through, so guys, I'm just going to see who, who I'm connecting with here, okay. And she was a lovely, she's got like a really, um, like a sparkly diamond uh, collar on this poodle, okay. Who are you wanting to connect with, my lovely? And I've got the name Francis, okay, and I feel Francis is here on the earth plane, obviously connecting with this dog that is in spirit. And again, Francis is not well at the moment, and that is why the, the spiritual energy of the dog is around this person, okay. Like I say, these messages aren't going to be for everybody. And I've got another man who wants to come through, um, and I've got Winston, okay, which is a very strong um, name, Winston here, and he's saying that he passed away suddenly with a heart attack, and he was only around the 57, 58 mark, okay, and who do you want to connect to, Winston? What's the message? Okay, I've got Vera who's come through with Winston, so I've got a Winston and a Vera on here. But I don't think the Vera is connected to the Winston, I could be wrong, but... Okay. And they are passing a message, one of these, either Winston or Vera, is passing a message to somebody called Veronica. And I've also got a Vincent. So I've also got Veronica and Vincent, but they are on the earth plane, okay? And they are also going through issues of health problems at the moment. So I've had a collective of spirits come through that are literally um, around um, 
people at the moment who are suffering health issues. Now, as I said, these spirit messages may not resonate to everybody, but I just hope that um, it, it does it is significant okay, uh, to somebody out there. So, my lovely Aquarians, the message here for you, as I said, is about this healing, whether it is um, this concerns for a loved one or it is um, for you personally. But just know, as we go through the end of April to the start of May, that your energy and their energy is going to be recovering and um, you know your energy levels will be coming back and the sun is going to be coming back into your lives, my lovelies. So my lovely Aquarians, I hope you can take something away from this little short message today and I will look forward to reading you uh, next time. Take care then. Bye.